Hello guys, my name is Asmaran, and this is not 49ers news yet again, this is NFL news, and it's more like big breaking news for all 32 teams in the NFL, and the, the big NFL itself. Uh, before I begin the news, I've got a big announcement coming on the 31st of January, 6pm British time. I'll put a schedule up on YouTube so you can keep an eye, and it's big. Big for me, and hopefully big for you guys to watch, so uh, keep an eye out on that. But first, let's get down to the big breaking news that came out a few days ago. But I just want to make sure this is the full-on article, full-on news. And it's all about this. Okay, so this is on nfl.com forward slash news. And this is a, a um, article on, by Kevin uh, Patra around the NFL writer. And it says, NFL informs clubs that COVID-19 outbreaks among unvaccinated players could lead to forfeit games. So this is flipping mental. So let's read on. So it's a big article. So here we go. It says, as the NFL approaches the 2021 season, the league informed clubs that it would not extend the season to accommodate a COVID-19 outbreak among unvaccinated players that causes a game cancellation. NFL Network's Tom, uh, Tom I think it's Presgro, uh, reported Thursday that the NFL sent a memo to its clubs uh, stating that if a game can't be rescheduled during the week uh, the 18 week schedule due to a COVID-19 outbreak among unvaccinated players the team with the outbreak will forfeit and will be credited with a loss per sources informed of the situation uh, in addition players on both teams will not be paid for the uh, loss contest and the team responsible for the cancelled game due to unvaccinated players will cover financial losses and will be uh, subject to a potential discipline from the commissioner's office. Last year, the NFL bent over backwards to rework the schedule on the fly as outbreaks occurred. Zero games were missed over 17 weeks. Um, in 2021, the NFL plans to play its 272 games slate over 18 weeks. Uh, we do not, uh, we do not uh, uh, anticipate adding a 19th week to accommodate games that can't be rescheduled within the 18 week period of the regular season, the memo stated in a highlighted portion. It's the clearest line in the NFL as drawn to date and, and the most substantial inactive yet for owners, teams, coaches to, uh, to pursue players to get them vaccinated. The league has insisted it will not mandate va uh, vaccinations, but the restrictions in place for non vaccinated players and potential penalties to teams make the NFL stance crystal clear. Uh, first, his memo underlines that in green, money green. If a game is cancelled, postponed, because a club can't play due to a COVID spike among or resulting from its non-vaccinated players or staff, then the burden of the cancellation or delay will fall on the club experiencing the COVID vaccination. The memo states, we will seek to minimise the burden of the uh, opposing club or clubs. If a club can't play due to COVID spike in vaccinated individuals, we will accept to minimise the competitive and embolic burden on both participating, participating teams. It's the clearest language the league has used in delining the difference between outbreaks among vaccinated individuals and those who elect not to be vaccinated. NFL Network's Joe, uh, Judy Batstra reported that the players beginning to report for camps progress on vaccinations has increased. More than 78% of players league-wide have had at least one shot and 14 clubs have at least 85% of players have vaccinated. Uh, Periscope reported that all 32 teams have at least 50% vaccination rate among players. Jesus wept. Um, we're pleased with those numbers, but we're not satisfied. We want to see them continue, uh, continue to go up. NFL Chief Medical Officer Dr. Alan Stills told Batster on Thursday's NFL Now. Certainly those rates are well above what we are seeing in the rest of society and certainly above the same age group as most of our players are. So a great head start, more work to be done. According to Thursday's memo, vaccinated players or staff who tested positive and are uh, astronomically can return to duty after two negative tests 24 hours apart. For non-vaccinated players uh, who test positive, the 2020 protocols remain in place require a 10-day isolation. Flip it now. Um, in essence, the NFL is telling its clubs to up their efforts to convince players to get vaccinated, otherwise the burden of risk falls on the team should an outbreak occur. Uh, Pilesco shared an NF NFLPA 
email state to players first night in which clubs were remi reminded that the same basic rules also uh, applied last year stating that players wouldn't have been paid for games if they were a if they was a COVID-19 outbreak and all previously agreed upon joint protocols are uh, effective then followed as the 2020 season provided the NFLPA did not uh, one small difference in that NFL decided to impose additional penalties on teams uh, which are responsible for, for an outbreak should one occur and the availability of vaccinations. So that is mental and that is politics, guys. Um, that is my opinion. That is my fault. Politics. Um, I mean, it's just sort of a piss take, really. I mean, so if I'm vaccinated and if I get it, I've got to have, was it for... 24 48 hours off but if i'm non vaccinated i'll go 10 days off so that's taking a piss uh really um i don't believe in none in it really i really really don't but if they i mean it's a piss take but if they want you to push on and do it push on and do it um you know what i mean the 49ers itself itself has to be vaccinated we need a strong season oh, Really, all 32 teams need to have a full season, but I'm sorry, we need a full season. We need to do it, and we need to do it strong. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time. Listen, they've put the 49ers have used great salary cap, have done very well in an NFL draft, picked great players, used their salary cap for great extensions, one-year contracts, great players. If we can be fully vaccinated and ready, we have a very, very strong ch chance uh, as a team. And I hope we do well. Uh, but other than that, I think it's a lot of crap, really. But it is what it is. Um, leave your comments down below, guys. Tell me how you feel and think of this COVID-19 business. Um, also, thank you very much for the 39 subscribers. Really fortunate and appreciate and humbled that you've subscribed. And if you are new, subscribed to the Lot More 49's news and um, NFL news of all sorts um, throughout the week. I do like probably the odd live stream as well. I'm usually doing that now and again. But keep an eye out, guys. Subscribe. And, yeah, I will see you guys uh, on the next video.